Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So what we're gonna do today is show you how we sprout our pepper seeds and tomato seeds and a lot of other seeds indoors with no electricity. Now it's a very popular way today to sprout pepper seeds or tomato seeds by putting them into a seed tray or seed cups and putting that into a tray and then putting a heating mat underneath that tray to heat up the soil that the seeds are in and then get them to sprout that way. Because pepper plants, tomato plants, it's just easier to get them to germinate when they are heated a little bit, when, they, when they're warm and when there's warmer temperatures. And so they sell these uh, different type of mats and I'll put one on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. They sell these different type of mats to heat up these seed trays to get your seeds to germinate. Well, we live off grid, so we don't have electricity, but we like growing peppers and we love growing tomatoes. So how we get some of those started is by a different method that I learned a couple of years ago, and I'll show you that today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first cut open. This is provided by Brad over at the Big Family Homestead. He put this in the seed swap box that we did a video on a little while back. And these are ghost peppers and Brad put that in there and I took up the challenge, the ghost pepper challenge to grow these on the homestead this year. Thanks Brad over at Big Family Homestead. And so we're going to go ahead and cut this open. I can feel where the seeds are because I don't want to cut the seeds. And see how this opens up there. Sure enough, there they are. Okay, there's a little package in here. Just a little one like that. And so there's the ghost pepper seeds so we can get rid of that. And then you take a napkin, and what you do is you take it, it's basically a four-ply napkin, open it up to halves, like this, and you're going to take the seeds, I'm going to open up this little packet here, there we go, and I'm just going to dump them on the napkin, if I can, come on, oop, spilled a few, okay, let's get them all in there, come on. Well, there's like the last two up in there. I can't. All right. Oh, there we go. All right. I think there's two over here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to spread these out on the napkin, putting them in different places, give them some breathing room between each other. What's going to happen is these are going to start sprouting and germinating in the napkin, and they're going to send out, send out a little tentacle. And when that tentacle comes out, that, that's a lack of a better word, I'm sure there's a scientific name for it. When that sprout starts to emerge, um, you want to have them some room because you want to pull them away and you don't want to get them tangled with each other because then you can damage the seed. And so just right there, we're going to leave it just like that. And then I'm going to get some water right here. And so it's a glass of water. This is water from our well. I would, I would prefer using water um, from a natural source rather than... Um, uh, you know, city water or chlorinated water. Try to find natural water. I'm just going to wet this napkin down. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of water on it, just like that. Then I'm going to take a paper towel and lay it beside it, and we're going to try to move this over. I'm going to close this up here like that. It'll saturate that. And what it's going to do is just kind of seal it down so it can't move. None of the seeds can move. And we're going to pick it up and put it on the paper towel like that. There you go. Just like that. You can fold that in like that. Fold it in like that. Fold it in like that. Fold it in like that. And then I'm going to get some more water and I'm going to dampen this just a little bit. Just a little bit, just enough to get everything wet, slightly. You don't need to submerge water, water log it. There, perfect, just like that. And then it's going to go into the sandwich baggie. This is kind of tricky. You want to make sure you get it in there. You want to try to get it in as evenly as possible where everything is still spread out, not scrunched up together. Just like that. Very good. Kind of work it in there. And almost. 
almost. There. Okay. Try to work it and get it to where it's even. Everything's not scrunched up. There we go, like that. Okay. But you want to get it in enough to where you can close it. Now there's enough moisture in there that should germinate the seeds. You probably won't have to come back at all and add any more. Oh, I gotta get the air out. Make sure the air is all out. There. There. Just like that. Now, you can see the seeds in there, each one of them, and then when they start to sprout, you're going to be able to tell it. You'll be able to see very clearly that they're sprouting. And what you're going to do, the first year we did this, is I basically I made a bunch of these, and I wore them inside my coat pocket, inside my jacket, um, all the time, 24-7. Anytime I was moving around, I'd get up in the morning, and I would put these in my coat pocket because it was cold, and I just wear them all day or wear them uh, against my clothes. So my body heat was used, was the actual heat that we used to germinate these seeds. You can do it that way, and that's the way I originally learned from somebody else. So that works. Um, now it works really effective if I take this, just, just lay this just down right there by the wood stove, and the wood stove, the heat, the residual heat from the wood stove will act as a way to germinate these seeds. The heat will be enough from the wood stove, and that's how I did it uh, last year and the year before. But the first year I did it, I just used my body heat. I wore this, and it worked fine. It, it sprouted all the seeds, my body heat, um, just by wearing this next to my body uh, under my clothes. You know, I basically put a t-shirt on and then put it between the t-shirt and like a sweatshirt or under my coat, things like that. And then my body heat sprouted these seeds. And so that's how you can germinate and sprout your pepper seeds, which usually people will say, you know, requires some heat, requires some warmth to get these seeds to germinate. That's how you can do it when living off grid. You don't need electricity. You don't need to buy uh, some fancy tree uh, seed starting tray. You don't need to do that. You can do it just with, like if you have a wood stove, wood stove works great. Or if you don't have that, which I can't imagine you not having some sort of electrical heating source or a wood stove, you could do it with body heat. I've done that in the past as well. So anyway, there is our amazing off-grid way to start our seeds. We do that every year, and it doesn't require any heating pads or heating elements. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Folks, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and check out this list of amazing folks. This, these are our patrons. They are the executive producers of our show. They make all of our videos possible. And you can find more information by going to patreon.com slash an American homestead. In the meantime, like, subscribe on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see you next time on American Homestead. Check out the videos on the left. See ya.